I want to talk to you about my job. Sinclair is the most controversial media company. I'm in the analysis, opinion, and commentary business. And no more controversial person at Sinclair than Boris Epstein. Fidelity, bravery, let the integrity. negotiations. That Begin. is the motto of the business. But who really is Boris? I think there's been a little bit of this narrative uh, driven that I'm some sort of, uh, you know, a really hard charging person and uh, maybe to a degree not nice. I like, everyone thinks they're a nice person, right? But I like to think of myself as a pretty nice guy. So what was it like moving to the U.S. at age 11? Well, you know, there's positives and challenges as in everything, right? First of all, as an 11 year old, it was my first time on a plane and I was very excited for that. Uh, we came because we're Jewish refugees and times were tough for Jews in the, in the former Soviet Union. We, called curse words, you know, epithets, racial epithets. My parents uh, decided that it was important for us to come. Now we came as a family, it was me and my folks, uh, as well as my, my dad's parents and my mom's mom. So it was six of us, a tight, tight knit unit. Did one job lead to another? Everything in life is a, is a process, right? It's all a journey. So I knew pretty early on that I wasn't necessarily going to be the type of person who's a lawyer for the rest of his life, sitting in, a, in an office and cranking out documents. Uh, everything I've done absolutely helps me with everything I do now. So being a lawyer, having a legal mind in terms of deciding how to form arguments and discussions is extremely useful in what I do now in the program. I've gotten to see a lot of businesses uh, firsthand. I've gotten to see how businesses succeed, how businesses uh, fail. And of course, politics is something I've had a passion for, been involved in now. I was involved in the last three presidential campaigns, so I'm very proud of that. What makes you soft? My kid, I mean, I have a beautiful little boy and, and he's the light of my life. I, I rush home instead of going out to dinner or, or something social, I, I much prefer going home and hanging out with him or seeing him in the morning. Before I, Solomon was born, I wasn't really sure, you know, what, what it was going to do to me and how it was going to impact me. But I will tell you, it is everything that's cranked up to me and much more. It's so, yeah, my son, I'm extremely close with, obviously, my wife, Lauren, who's wonderful. I'm very close with my parents. I was very, very uh, tight-knit with my grandparents, who played a huge impact in who I am as a person. So I guess one word overall is family. Are you a romantic? <laughs> well, that, this was a fun thing that my now wife and I did when uh, I, I was in law school, I believe, and she was in college. We published this book called Where to Date in D.C. Uh, it still has her maiden name on it. Uh, and it was a really fun project that we did. We went all over town. It was published, I think, in 05, 06, somewhere mm -hmm. there. But a lot of the restaurants in D.C. are still there. My wife and I go to this restaurant called Filomena for every Valentine's Day since we've been dating. It's a great old school Italian restaurant in Georgetown. Um, and it's been a tradition of ours for, and, and even when we lived in New York, we used to come down for it on Valentine's Day. It's a special place for us. 